Uh, welcome everybody to the Potential Difference Regenerative Acceleration Generator demo presentation. Potential Difference is an R&D company. One of our uh, focuses over the last 10 years has been uh, looking for ways to harness uh, generator uh, back EMF or uh, reduce the uh, regenerative braking paradigm in electric vehicles. And what we've ended up doing is we have uh, successfully been able to reverse the regenerative braking paradigm and create what we call uh, regenerative acceleration generator technology, which allows electric vehicles to recharge their batteries as they're driving, um, basically beginning now at uh, 10 kilometers an hour and throughout, throughout the entire uh, operation of the electric vehicle. So what I'm going to be doing in this demonstration is I'm going to be simulating uh, an electric vehicle with, here we have an electric motor and we have a, a regenerative acceleration generator here and what I'm going to do in the demo is I'm going to, I'm going to bring the system up to uh, about uh, 3,000 RPM, 2,500 RPM. And essentially that's an electric car that's driving down the highway and the motor is, is running at 2,500 RPM. And then I'm going to reduce the input to the motor so that we're going to create deceleration. And then I'm going to engage the conventional coil uh, in, the, in the generator, which is the conventional uh, regenerative braking coil that would be in all electric vehicles. And when I do that, we're going we're gonna to have an output. This light bulb is going to light up, and the system is going to begin to decelerate. So that's basically the, that's showing the regenerative braking uh, paradigm that's, that's prevalent in all electric vehicles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to override the regenerative braking paradigm and I'm going to create regenerative acceleration. So that's our electric vehicle and it's driving down the highway at 2500 uh, RPM in the motor. And now the driver is taking his foot off the gas pedal. And now his electric vehicle is slowing down. Okay. So now the driver is going to put his foot on the brake. Okay, and he's going to create regenerative braking. Now the regenerative acceleration, the regenerative braking generator in the electric vehicle is supplying power to the battery and slowing down the car. So now the driver is going to put his foot on the brake, okay, and he's going to create regenerative braking. We're in regenerative braking mode, and we're in regenerative acceleration mode now. I'm just going to let it speed up again and then I'll go through this again. Can you see this meter here? Okay, what this means is the current that's going to the motor is actually going down. Okay, in regenerative acceleration mode, the motor is using less power. Okay, in our mode, and the output is going up. So now we're in conventional mode, okay? You can see the output to the motor is going up. The input is going down, 
There's only one way in the known world right now to keep that from going any lower. And that is to put more power into the system. Okay? So I've put more power in, stepped on the gas pedal, or put more coal in, or more nuclear, or created more greenhouse gas, whatever, and now we're getting more output. Okay? So I'm going to reduce it so that it's going down again. All right? It's clear that it's going down. Okay? The output is going down. Okay. So there's no explanation in the current physics books to explain this. Right now, essentially, we're basically, as far as I'm concerned, we're violating Newton's third law, Lenz's law, and the law of conservation of energy, as it applies to electric generators. And that's as it applies to electric generators. So again, in all conventional generators in the entire world, there's only one way to keep this system from decelerating. And that is to put more power in, to make this number bigger, okay? I'm gonna accelerate the system by making this number smaller and this number bigger, okay? Watch. And you, if you notice, you can see that this jumps from 7.7 .7 volts across the load instantly to 10.4, the system is accelerating and the input is going down. And if we let it go, we'll see, it'll probably go, probably drop to about 1.5. Is that clear? You got that? Okay. 